Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage, filthy mouth, so your discretion is advised, but if you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to accept the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our Tom fondly. Oh, that sounded disgusting. Okay, hi. Insert air horns here. Welcome to New Makeup Nonsense Bingo. Insert air horns here. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> I know, I know, I know. Anyway, hopefully next week I won't sound like I'm in a fishbowl. Here's hoping. Anyway, if you've never been here before, hi, if you've never been here, if you have never been here before, hello. My name is Teresa, I'm a garbage person, and I like to do these videos on Friday with my fabulous friend, Imperfectly M. This is New Makeup Nonsense Bingo. Essentially, this idea was created and crafted by Emily. It's a new makeup release video, except we call upon the makeup products as if we're playing bingo. We have a couple of adult libations, and you know, a lot of uh, trash talking ensues. And I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way. If you are ever interested in watching wanting to play this at home, well baby, you can. Everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below, including community playlists and bingo cards and bloopity blop blop. That said, before I show you the possible makeup products that we may or may not be talking about today, a very special thank you to today's sponsor. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Y'all know I have been using HelloFresh for a long, 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 long time. And even before I had this weird kooky channel, I have been a long time customer. And I have to say HelloFresh has been a constant staple ever since I moved to Florida because where I live, they don't like a thing called flavor. I know, it's very, very sad. So it warms my biscuits to know that even though I live in this flat, tasteless bog. When I get HelloFresh, I know I'm getting top-notch produce since it travels from the farm to my front door in less than seven days. And don't get it twisted, Donna. HelloFresh is more than just dinners. While well, you can choose from 40 recipes, which baby, it's a lot and it's a Libra. It gets me overwhelmed, but in a good way. <laughs> you can also stock your fridge with easy breakfast, quick lunches, and fresh snacks by visiting the HelloFresh market. HelloFresh takes the stress out of mealtime by delivering fresh ingredients and easy recipes right to your door. No lie, it even includes the pictures of the recipes so you know exactly what you need to do. Think of it as a safety blanket. So even if you're not the best in the kitchen, HelloFresh will be guiding you the whole way. So this fall, skip the extra trip to the grocery store and go do more spooky things and have dinner ready in no time with America's number one meal kit. You can visit the link in the description box below or go to HelloFresh.com and use code 50 Teresa's dead at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, go to HelloFresh.com and use code 50 Teresa's dead at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. Thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video and y'all go support the sponsors that support your garbage queen and uh, stay well fed. I know I am. Anyway, here are the possible makeup products that I may or may not be talking about today. Here's my beautiful bingo card. And without further motherfucking ado, okay, welcome to New Makeup Nonsense Bingos. Bingos. <laughs> I pluralized it. Cheers, y'all. <laughs> oh, my God. What am I drinking? Gamer Sups, Emotional Damage. 
It's the best. And I have a little vodka in there. I know. What a trailblazer I am. Anyway, let me go put my glasses on because I, I don't know. Maybe it's because my birthday is next month and I'll be 38, but like I'm starting to really not be able to see. <laughs> And it's funny because I just got my prescription not that long ago changed, but I really can't see. <laughs> anyway, okay, so let's um, let's get started. Well, this is a noodle scratcher. I love when my iPad doesn't cooperate with me. Great. Oh, I am fucking excited about this. First of all, welcome back, Daddy, okay? Our Lord and Savior ColourPop, motherfucking ColourPop, is in the building. And, you know, I feel like for a couple of weeks there, maybe a couple of months, I was kind of like, what's going on, Dad? Like, let's talk about it. You can trust me. I don't know what was going on with ColourPop. There didn't seem to be anything worth really talking about. And then there was, like, a lot of just dead space. Like, they just went AWOL. It's like they went out for a pack of cigarettes to never return again. But in reality, they actually did get lost in the woods and he did come home okay so maybe they're not a bastard after all but anyway <laughs> Uh, I blame my Swiss cheese COVID brain. Okay. <laughs> ColourPop is releasing a collection with the Haunted Mansion, and I think this is perfect. A lot of people were tagging me, asking me my thoughts. Here are my thoughts. It's perfect. I think it's really good. I think it's like a basic bitch version of Haunted Mansion, and I fucking love it. Is this a palette that I've seen before? Cool. Yes and no. Because it kind of reminds me of maybe some of their curated, like, nine pan palettes that were more, like, purpley cool tone but this pop of blue is something that I always kind of feel like is a staple in ColourPop palettes uh, to be honest um, but I'm not mad at it I think it's actually really really pretty I love the artwork of it I think the shades actually look really really nice and they're shades that I know that I love and would just wear all the time so I'm automatically thinking like I'm gonna get used out of this the super shock shadows are cute too they're I don't have a bad thing to say about it even the stupid ass stupid obsessed body glitter that's cool would I wear it? No, because I, there's not enough body glitter. <laughs> there's not enough body glitter in that little fucking jar for me, okay? I'm lucky to get like one cankle with that one, but I would kind of wear it though if I was a little drunk, not gonna lie. <laughs> That's what I should do. I should just, here are the products that I would wear drunk, thinking that I was cute. Like that's one of them, <laughs> for sure. Um, but I love this. I love all the lip colors. They're ultra matte lip colors. So mm, maybe that's the only thing I'm maybe not super excited about. Their lip products have gotten better, but I'm not a, I'm not a matte fan. I'm not a matte fan. I'm sorry, I'm just not. I need hydration, I need juiciness because I'm a dry, dry bird. And uh, if I don't have life, I will crack and die. So those are the only things that I'm kind of just like, meh, not really for me, but they do have an ultra glossy lip, which is a peach color changing formula. And which normally I would feel like I'm wanna roll my eyes, but I like this collection so much that I think I'm just gonna be nice. Who am I? I don't know. COVID ate my brain. <laughs> And now I just have to deal with it. I can't. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. This is fun. I like it. I like everything about it. And I'm also actually really curious to know about the uh, glossy lip. Like how weird it's going to look on me. Like is it going to give me permanent fruit punch mouth? I'm so curious. I have been waiting for some really good Halloween collections to come up. And I feel like this is kind of the best one so far that I've seen. It's cute, but it's not overly cute. It's not so far away from the source material. All the little packaging makes sense. The only thing is that I kind of wish, and this is where I feel like they have dropped the ball a little bit, is that I wish there was a mirror. Because if they would have had a tombstone mirror or a Madame Leota mirror, bitch okay excuse me i know i really should be like a fucking person coming up with product ideas <laughs> what am i doing in this shithole room i don't know i got some good ideas okay and that's what they should have done because that would have been really fucking cute but i'll take this because this is exceeded my expectations more than any of their recent collections that have come out this year. Now I do get ColourPop PR. I used to have a code with them. I don't think my code works anymore. Garbage 5, 5 garbage. I don't know what the fuck it was, but I don't think it works anymore. <laughs> Who cares? But I still do get PR from them. And when I looked at my informed delivery the USPS thing, it looked like something was coming from ColourPop. So I'm kind of hoping that this is the baby because otherwise I will be upset. If not, I will definitely buy this um, and review it. But regardless, whether it's a PR or no PR, I'm still give you my honest thoughts and all that bullshit but um regardless if this gets sent to me or not I, I will have this in my hands because I need to it's Teresa's dead like it makes sense duh right this is my bread and butter um so yeah I love this I think this is fucking cute and I I just they did a really good job they did a really good job and I hope 
that the formula is solid because if the formula is not solid then there will be hell to pay so thank you daddy i love you i'm happy that you're back you fucking hit this one out of the goddamn park and for that i say you're welcome back to your throne and i hope 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 that you continue with this energy and you show us more amazing collections through this holiday season because you bitch deserves it i had a hard year give me something give me a little bit of hope <laughs> you know it's bad when you're begging color pop for some hope. And cheers to that. Thanks, Dad. Next. We were rooting for you always, Nars. What the fuck is this? I like Nars. I really do. I make fun of them all the time because their orgasm is like really boring, you know? <laughs> but when it comes to their holiday stuff, I do get excited. And I'm like, ooh, I kind of want to see what's going on here. And this stuff looks so like... <laughs> it just looks so predictable. It looks like stuff that I've already seen before time and time again, and it just makes me sad. So this is the first promotional images of the holiday collection. Uh, you have a nine pan palette, which I feel like is kind of the same as last year, right? Kind of, right? I don't know. Maybe it's not. Hold on, let me see something. NARS Holiday 2022. No, okay, it's not. Not gonna lie, kind of looks the same, but it's not though. Huh, okay. And the palette looks different. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize, NARS. It just looked very, very similar from what I remembered in 2022, but apparently it's not. Okay, we like that. Um, but it does still feel familiar it still feels like i have seen this collection whether if it's not last year maybe the year before or maybe it's like a summer collection but i feel like this looks so familiar but okay fine we have the face palette the iconic face palette that they always launch with five shades of blush one shade of highlighter that's usually way too dark for me and this year looks no different Okay. You have a face blush with the famous shade Orgasm in the limited edition packaging. How much orgasm do you need? Don't answer that. And then you have the compact transparent matte powder in a limited design, a set of creamy and dry mini brushes, and a set of mini two lipsticks with a matte finish. Okay. Um, I love the... <laughs> I love the model campaign photo. It's giving alien cyborg, you know, escort kind of vibe. And I'm, I'm like, I'm here for it. Um, yeah, this stuff, it's, um, ugh, I don't know. I kind of wanted more. I feel like with a lot of the luxury brands or like middle to higher road brands that have been coming out with their holiday stuff, it has been pretty cute. But this one just feels like, mm, I don't know. I feel like I've seen it. There's nothing really special about this one. I don't know. Like even the pan embossings on the face palette last year's was so much cuter with the stars it doesn't scream holiday to me the only thing that screams holiday i guess is perhaps the gold packaging but it doesn't really feel holiday but it is holiday and that doesn't make any sense to me um so this is something that i probably would pick up anyway because i am a stupid bitch uh, <laughs> but i think this is something that i would just wait for like a sephora sale or um sometimes nari stores out coupons and <laughs> coupons like it's a fucking coupon book but sometimes they throw out discount codes every now and again i think that's when i would wait to pick it up i don't think i'd pick up the eyeshadow palette it's just uh, i don't know i love a basic bitch moment but i'm kind of just like Meh, it's not really not for me but the only thing of interest is would probably be the cheek palettes because i have been finding that the cheek palettes as of late the last few years that i have picked up i've enjoyed thoroughly so you know I could use more, um, but I'm not excited about it. Like I like it, but it's not something I would ever pick up full price and it doesn't feel holiday yet it is holiday. So I'm a little disappointed, but I'm still gonna buy it because I'm a stupid ass bitch. <laughs> I think we can call this, you know, can't escape the holiday makeup because obviously we cannot escape the holiday makeup. And in this today's video, I know there's a, so much holiday makeup. So I'm sad that this is going to be the product that that gets wasted <laughs> for the square because I feel like there is much more deserving holiday collections that deserve that square, not this one. But that's the fun of a random number generator. Another fucker. All right. Any hoosies, you're out. <laughs> you're done, Nars. But I'm still going to buy you anyway. Next. Didn't this come out already? No, this didn't come out already? I feel like this is so new. I don't like this color. <laughs> I don't like this color of the dice sim. By the way, where the fuck is all the 90s inspired dice and products? They showed a picture of that and I think they were all released in Asia. I don't know if they're ever gonna come to the US and if they don't come to the US, it's a travesty because my ass would buy the fucking air wrap even though it sucks just because it's cute looking. That's where I am in my life, okay? <laughs> just fine because it's cute. I don't fucking care about functionality. I just want to look at it, okay? I don't have kids. I can do whatever the fuck I want with my money. And that's one of the things that I would get. 
I treat it like a baby though. Hmm. Anyway, breastfeed it and all. So this came out and I don't like it. I just don't like it at all. It looks familiar. So I'm kind of thinking that I think this blue color did exist. The only thing that's different is now a very gross millennial pink band that looks like at the top of it and the bottom of it and on the fucking box. Ew. Like I just think it's a horrible color combination. Horrible color combination. I don't like it. It's so stupid. I hate it. <laughs> Now, if this was the 90s one, I would be shutting up and being like, you know what? I know it broke my hair, but I still want to give her a shot. <laughs> this one, I'm like, ew, no, no. <laughs> you can get shot off into space. I don't give a shit about you. Anyway, this bundle retails for $599 and you get, of course, the main body. You get, I think like two barrels, a brush, a dryer, no, three brushes, a detangling comb, a filter cleaning brush. What the hell is that? What the hell is this ring? It looks like calamari. What the fuck is that? All right. Anyway, you get all these little attachments. I don't know. I, I just don't think the blue color is very pretty. Mm. I don't have anything against blue. It's just, I don't, don't think this is like a, a attractive color blue. And it looks so similar to other ones. Nah, not for me. This is not winning it. This is not the color combination. I would suggest waiting if you were interested and just wait fucking, I feel like in a month or so, they're going to release another different color that's going to be better if you were interested in this product. But um, also you don't have to get it too because it kind of sucks. <laughs> That's just my two cents. But then again, you see how my hair is. This product is never going to work for me. I just, there's no way. But I'm envious of those that it does work for. Maybe this is more about me being upset that it doesn't work for me. <sighs> Jealousy. I'm going to call it the same shit new packaging. Because this is the same shit over and over and over and over and over again. And it's just a new packaging. And the packaging is gross. There, I said it. Next. <laughs> Bitch. Okay. This is the third time <laughs> I'm including like the Glam Light Scream Collection, which by the way, it's not Scream Collection. So thank you so much for those that have mentioned to me like, hey, dumbass, it's not the Scream Collection because I've been sitting here crying and screaming about how I want Tatum's green top. And I want, I had like this list of demands because I was thinking that it was Scream and it's not Scream, it's actually Ghostface. And Ghostface, I guess it makes sense to literally be black, white, silver, and red. Like, classic Halloween colors, right? And in that way, the shadows that they have been showing, while I feel like still kind of look very similar to the Chucky palette, make sense to the character, okay? There I said it. That said though, I don't even give a shit about the actual palette. I could fucking care less now because this bag is everything. This bag, first of all, it's huge. Did you see this bitch? It's huge. You know how much shit I could put in there? That makes me so excited. <laughs> And it comes with a motherfucking cross body strap too. Are you kidding me, girl? I just can't. I fucking can't. I love the 3D lenticular cover. I think that's adorable. I think the imagery, the font, everything is just spot on. Even the little cross body strap, like it's very cute. Also, there's like little knife zipper pulls. Adorable. And for 40 bucks, it's actually pretty fucking good. Considering I have been buying makeup bags from like, uh, uh, what the hell was it? Calpac? I think it was like $95 for a fucking makeup bag. Or some of the base ones that have like literally been all over TikTok and did I buy them? Yes. <laughs> For like 60 bucks. So $40 for something that has like a really cute vibe to it. I think it's pretty, it's fucking worth the money. Plus it's huge. The only thing though I will say that I was a little disappointed in, but it kind of made up for it is that the front has a pouch. So you have more storage in that front area. Although you can't really tell how big it is. So I'm curious to see when I actually do get it. Like, can you zip it all the way around? Like how much can you actually shove in that front pocket? Um, But I kind of wish a little bit that, um, you know how like sometimes they have big cases that have, uh, I guess they're foam. They have like little inserts or like little Velcro things that you can kind of like mold to like make compartments. Since it kind of looks like a hat box in a way that they kind of had little pockets where you could potentially like corner pieces off and I don't know maybe I'm just asking for too much I probably am I usually am but that's the one thing that I was like oh I wish they did that instead of it just being like a straight up just jump your shit in a fucking middle of the bag. But regardless, I know I am on their PR. I'm newly affiliated with the brand. On launch day, I am gonna go pick this up. I don't know if PR is guaranteed and I don't wanna miss out on this bag. The rest of the collection, I could really care less about now. <laughs> I have to say Glam Light is really killing it with their accessories. Their Scooby-Doo makeup bag was really cute. The Chucky thing I was confused about. It sounded like it was supposed to be a makeup bag, but it actually turned out to be like a little cross body bag. Not my vibe. If that was a makeup bag, I would fucking love it more, but whatever. Neither here or there. I forgive them for that one. <laughs> 
But this is just cute though. Really well done. It actually makes me want to create accessories too. Accessories are just so cute, you know? Mm. Especially when they're done well. And this looks like it's done well. So this is going to be releasing at the end of this month. So September 29th. And I am fucking excited. I love Scream. And I could care less now if it does it any justice. <laughs> because at least they delivered uh, well on the bag and the mirror. Honestly. <laughs> fucking hand mirror and the bag. It could just be 50 shades of brown at this point. I don't even care. I just love the accessories so far. So keep that same energy with the other horror collections that they're going to be launching. I think there's four in total. So far we've had Chucky. Then we have Ghostface. I think Jason is on the way. I'm not entirely sure what the other IP collection is going to be. I heard rumblings that Michael Myers was going to be one of the collections. So in any case, I'm excited to see what's going to happen. And of course the uh, motherfucking accessories so I can't call this anything except I am waiting with bated breath <laughs> I'm just pa not even pa I'm not even patient anymore. I'm impatiently waiting for y'all to launch this fucking collection so do not disappoint me. Love you. Bye. I already bought this. I already bought this and I don't give a shit, okay? When I was laying in bed, just infested with COVID, I went through a lot of emotions, okay? And one of the emotions was, hey, I don't think my debit card has a limit. Let's see where this goes. And I decided <laughs> to just buy everything my little heart wanted, okay? If I saw something that looked remotely cute, I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna buy it. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. Let's go, boys. So that's... <laughs> what I did. And this is one of the many purchases that I made. And yeah, am I a clown? Obviously, beep beep, you know the fucking answer, bitch. Okay. <laughs> But I regret nothing. I loved the Man Eater palette that was released last year. That palette is fantastic. One of the best Tarte products that they have ever made. So when I saw that they released a part two, <laughs> you bitch had to buy it. So this is the Man Eater Nightfall. It looks gorgeous. I love it. I'm just excited to wear it. It's like all the beautiful jewel tones and it's perfect for this upcoming holiday season. Whether it's going to be fall or winter, it doesn't matter. Tarte is there to basically make you a basic ass bitch. <laughs> But a pretty basic ass bitch. And I'm excited to uh, put this all over my little eye holes. The blues and the greens, they just all look so good. And if the formula is anything like the original palette, then I am going to be a pig in shit. Yes, you heard right. A little pig in shit. That will be me because I will be really fucking excited. Cheers. I love it. I regret nothing. I know. I know I'm a clown, but I really could care less. This guy retails for $52, by the way. You get 24 shades, 11 mattes, 9 shimmers, 4 sheens, Amazonian clay infused for intense payoff and blendability. I just, I love the longevity of it. It's good. It's a solid basic bitch palette that has a little bit of color and just, it's just so good. I really hope that this is like the palette from last year. If not, it's a fucking travesty. So uh, with that said, I can call this already bought it because I already bought it and I regret nothing. Next. Y'all know I don't fuck with ABH. I just don't like, I don't like them, <sighs> whatever. But they did release a palette. And when I first saw the packaging, I was like, okay, you have my attention. Not that I was going to buy it, but I like to look at pretty things. I think we all do, right? And then when they released it, I was so fucking underwhelmed. What? the fuck happened to ABH? I don't know. The days of them having interesting color stories are just so, so far gone. Like they're in the rear view. I can't see it anymore. Everything that they have really put out since then, I think the last palette that I got excited about was maybe the Nouveau palette. And that one, it was basic, you know, and that was like the last thing I ever picked up from them, I think. Right? I think so. I think that was the last palette. After that, it's just kind of been like, Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't know. There's just nothing about this that looks really cute. A lot of the gold looks exactly the same. Some of the darker mattes, like maybe if this palette came out four years ago, I would have been excited about it, but there's nothing about it that just makes me want to lose my shit. Even though they do have a duochrome in there, which I was like, okay. The only thing I will say that is like, oh, okay, not bad, is that there are actually a couple of duochromes in the palette. That's kind of cool, but like, no. This is the kind of palette that, you know, I feel like you should wait for it to go on sale. There is really nothing like super fun or unique. I lost my shit over the fucking Tarte Man Eater palette because I feel like that was like a really good representation of like jewel tones. This felt like it was going to be that and then it totally took a fucking left. It was like, you know what? We're only going to really give you a purple. Everything else is going to kind of be rehashings of the last few palettes that we've had. So I don't, I don't know. I'm just kind of like, mm, yes, give us nothing. <laughs> 
You're giving us nothing with this shit. I don't like it. I'm also kind of annoyed about the repetition of gold shades. Perhaps if maybe they threw some um, more like jewel tone matte shades or something. I don't know, something, something. <laughs> something in there. It's just so like, okay, all right, okay. And granted, you're probably gonna get very beautiful looks with it, but it's just, I don't know, just doesn't speak to me. Doesn't speak to me whatsoever. Yeah, this is disappointing. You started off strong and then you delivered us whatever this bullshit is. So yeah, no, this is a no for me. Um, yes, give us nothing because you gave us nothing. Um, but for the ones that are interested in picking this up, do yourself a favor and just... <laughs> fucking wait for it to go on sale or what's actually kind of nice you can get the trend mood box because it looks like that's kind of weird that they would put like a new palette in a mystery box right that's kind of weird put my little tinfoil hat on that's kind of weird i'm gonna marinate on that for a little bit but anyway um the fuck was i saying next <laughs> next okay i blame my brain if you're following me on instagram uh <laughs> literally last week, then you know that I was like just posting weird shit nonstop. I was in a hole, okay? I was in a weird foggy hole and I saw this and I got excited and it's so stupid, but I want it anyway. I don't care and I hate myself for it. So this is the Urban Decay Glitter Palette. It's like the moon dust shadow. So you have Space Rider and you have Galactic Cowgirl. So it's like two different palettes and they look so stupid and fun. They are basic. There is nothing exciting about them. Even the packaging alone just doesn't even feel Urban Decay. It feels kind of like a weird indie brand. Yet I was still losing my shit on my fucking couch about it. I was like, you know, this looks really good. I think this could be good. Again, my brain is Swiss cheese at this point, but I kind of want them. I don't know why. There's just something fun about them. They're garbage, but... <laughs> I like it though. I don't know. Urban Decay is so bizarre. Yes, by the way, I did get the metal palette. I know people were probably asking. Um, in my fog, I picked up that palette too. I don't know. I don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> no, I'm the same clown bitch I've always been. We all know that. I initially wasn't gonna pick that palette up. Something about it that was like, you know you wanna. And I was like, Yes, I do. Plus, I had some Ulta points that they reinstated back to my account, and I figured, why the fuck not? So, anyway, that's how that palette uh, came to be. <laughs> but that's neither here or there, okay? Anyway, I don't know when this is coming out, but um, I think I'm gonna buy it. I don't know if I'm gonna buy both of them. I might buy both of them. <laughs> I might buy both of them. Who? I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> so many people unsubscribe. <laughs> Rightfully so. I hate me too. But listen, I gotta try this shit for science, okay? Like, Makes sense. Anyway, I'm buying this fucking shit for science whenever it comes out and I'm gonna be a basic glitter goblin. <laughs> I just love it. <sighs> just love me. Next. I hate this. <laughs> I mean, I don't really like the movie Grease anyway. I don't like it. It's just, I, I've seen it so many times, but it's just not. I know, I know, I know, I know. There's so many people that are yelling, throwing, I was about to say the TV guide. <laughs> throwing TV guides at their computers. Oh, I wanna be, why? why the fuck would I have a TV guide at their computer screen? They're throwing something at the screen, being like, this bitch, I knew there was something wrong with her. <laughs> I don't like Grease, there I said it, okay? I don't like Grease, I don't feel anything for this. I feel nothing, but I'm kind of more like, ew. <laughs> than anything because Makeup Revolution is very interesting where sometimes they get the assignment and they're kind of pulling out all like the stops and everything looks beautiful and we love it and everybody's happy but then they release something like this that looks kind of like one of those weird indie brands that you know those indie brands that take like clip art from like freeimages.com or some fucking shit right and then they don't check the resolution but they blow it up to make it to like the size of a palette um hoping that no one notices that it's really pixelated and really blurry and <laughs> just hoping for the best and they kind of just make these like really weird shaped palettes that just have no business being palettes like that's what this looks like and I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I'm a sucker for packaging. I'm a sucker for uh, nice looking things because I, I am shallow at the end of the day. And if I'm gonna be spending my money, whether it's a dollar or a thousand dollars, I wanna fucking love how it looks, okay? Maybe I'm the only one here that thinks that, but like fucking if I'm gonna be spending my money, I wanna like how it looks. And this just looks so shitty. <laughs> 
Jenny. I hate this. I hate the fucking pink ladies jackets. I hate the T-Bird jackets. The T-Bird color story is actually kind of cute, but it feels more Halloween. The pink ladies, there's that's not enough pink. There's one pink shade. Give me more pink, bitch. I don't like that. When it comes to sponges, usually that's my bread and butter. I don't even want to even look at these sponges. They're disgusting. Then there's like a car palette. What the fuck is that? That is disgusting. That is horrifying. No. Makeup revolution. Bitch, you got a budget. Okay. <laughs> what is this shit? Then you have the hopelessly devoted little highlighter palette. That's okay. I <laughs> everything that's okay that's fine I could take that by the way I thought the brushes look like q-tips okay I don't like that um when it comes to the lipsticks they look so plastic and lightweight that I feel like it's kids makeup and then of course you have I'm assuming this is cream blush it looks like cream blush <sighs> I don't know Rizzo and Sandy I always thought it would be the other way around I feel like Rizzo would have been more of the red color while like Sandy would be the pink color right I felt like Sandy was like very Chanel until like she decided like you know what I love dick <laughs> start dressing up to be like a weird dominatrix and singing at a county fair with a I fucking don't remember where they were it's like a school whatever anyway I would think that the colors would be swapped but hmm, neither here or there I don't like it <laughs> like this. I, the grease palette though, the actual car, is probably the worst thing I've ever seen them do. And they've come out with a lot of stupid shit. Like the fucking Minnie Mouse collection, that was, that was atrocious. Like I actually had that shit in Target and I gasped. I gasped. I was like, <gasps> like horrified. <laughs> My hair turned white. It was terrifying. But this is just like disgusting. I hate it. I absolutely hate this. <laughs> So for this, I say makeup revolution, go away. Don't fucking come back here. I don't, not not with this shit. Come back when you got some Disney stuff. Cause like now I start thinking about like the Monsters collection. That was actually done really cute. So like what happened? What happened? Is this like the fucking D team coming up with these ideas? I don't know. This is a no for me. <laughs> makeup revolution, please go away. Thank you. Okay, all right, listen, hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. Did I buy this? I did, but like, I just really love advent calendars. <laughs> Maybe start thinking of Alexandria Ryan, of her quest always looking for like these really cool advent calendars or just mystery boxes or subscription boxes. And I saw this and I was like, you know, mm, let me try this. Um, So I bought it. I bought <laughs> I bought it. It was $60 hairs. Yep. Uh-huh. And I'm going to unbox it. This year, I want to try to get as many advent calendars as I can from like all different price points because I just pitch loves a surprise. I really do. I love my box videos. They don't happen very often because Ipsy was trying to fuck me and so was BoxyCharm. And I mean, look fantastic. I mean, come on. <laughs> Her glossy box was just atrocious. So um, I'm curious to see what kind of garbage is gonna be in here. Um, but I mean, based off the pictures though, I see a powder puff that I like. <laughs> Are you surprised? No, don't be, don't bitch, don't be. Uh -uh. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just, I'm just out here just living my own life, right? <laughs> Buying fun stuff. <laughs> Um, then eventually I will probably declutter. I love it. So I look forward to getting disappointed and I hope you come with me on this journey of being disappointed from a different advent calendars, um, please. Also, let me know if there are advent calendars that you would love to see me unbox. I did get the new Yes Style. I'm so excited because Yes Style is usually my favorite one and that video will be coming out sometime this month. But when it comes to advent calendars, let me know what have been some favorites of yours or if you would like to see me open up one because you were kind of curious and you didn't want to waste your money. Let me waste my money. It's totally fine. <laughs> It's totally fine. That said, I can't call us anything except I am a stupid bitch clown and that's out of my bingo card. So beep beep bitch. Next. Oh, excuse me. I think hands down the winner of like the best holiday packaging has entered the chat. And this is from Hourglass. This does not fucking disappoint. If, if, oh my God. Last year's holiday palettes were everything. And I love the idea that they had a special thing on the Hourglass website where if you didn't like the palette that belonged in that particular packaging, you could switch the packaging out. Fucking ingenious. Like that is 
so good. And they had it for a while. So it's not something that like, oh, you can only do it in like two weeks. Like they had it for pretty much the whole holiday season, which is fantastic. Um, but of course there's like no discounts or whatever. I think these are the kind of palettes that really like fly off the shelves during like Sephora sales and all that stuff. But just know that you can go on the website and hopefully that's still the case. I imagine it would be. I feel like it was a big success last year. I love it all. And it also kind of makes me excited because last year was what, three different palettes and we have four. So hopefully, <laughs> Cross, Hourglass gets their head out of their ass and starts introducing more palettes that cater to deeper skin tones. So we'll see if that happens. I feel like we're leaning towards it because there's four, but they could totally shock us and <laughs> just be the same palette fucking four times over. I wouldn't be surprised at that either. So either way, I'm sitting at the edge of my seat because I want to know if they're going to fucking be the best or the worst. I don't know. But I love the designs. I think they are definitely on par with the stuff that came out last Last year it looks so goddamn good I if I could I would get all four if I could I think they're all so perfect I'm leaning more towards the jellyfish the jellyfish makes me happy <laughs> but I would be happy if I got any of them. And um, yeah, I have to say even like last year, those holiday palettes are palettes that I still use to this day. They're so good. The quality has been always consistent and usually the best product to get from Hourglass because it's like a little bit of everything. Usually has like a highlighter, blushes, maybe a bronzer or like a finishing powder. It's a little bit of everything for 80 bucks. And the 80 bucks is a fucking lot of money. But for the price point and the packaging, I feel like the $80 is worth it in my opinion. I'm excited. This is fucking what I am here for. <laughs> I'm here for this adorable, pretty packaging. I need it all. Do not disappoint me. Please have more options. And please let everybody have a seat at the table for this one. Because it'd be a shame because it, it's so fucking pretty and cute. Oh. God, just don't disappoint us, Hourglass. Famous last words, right? Anyway, um, I'm gonna call this put it on my face because I can't wait when these do come out. Do expect a video from me because um, I just I just love them. I love the holiday palettes. They are always so fucking good. I feel like maybe one year it was like, uh, and then ever since then, it's just been like, just golf claps all around. So anyway, here's hoping that it's gonna be another good year. Next. Okay, I <laughs> I can explain about this one too. <laughs> so NYX released their holiday collection. Insert air horn here. Um, the holiday collection has a lot of different things. And I have to say, I think it's really cute. They did a really good job. Maybe it's because I live in Florida and we have flamingos. But I actually really like how cute this looks. So you have like a flamingo frost color palette, a butter lip gloss candy swirl jelly thing. I don't know. Holiday jumbo eye pencils, a butter gloss trio gift set, smooth whip trio gift set, a shine loud gift set, setting spray duo, a vivid liner duo, brightening liquid eyeshadow. Uh, it just, it keeps going on. Um, you have 12 days of kiss to mess for 50 bucks. Pull to slay surprise makeup box, butter gloss beneath the wreath, 60 bucks. You got a lot of shit here. What did I get? I did get something. I wound up getting the pull to surprise makeup box because like I said, I, <laughs> I love surprises and I just, I love the concept of this. And I will say that the Barbie NYX collection still exceeds my expectation, fucking blew my mind all over my face. I loved it so much. The whole execution of that collection was top motherfucking notch. And so when I saw this, I was like, you know what? I want to give NYX a little bit more of a chance because there are some things that I have tried from them as of this year that have been really, really good. The serum concealer has been lovely. The fat oils are fantastic. I also even like the little foundation, the Bear With Me foundation skin tint thing. That's been really, really good. Um, So this one looks like it's a bunch of different products. I don't want to read too much into it because I want it to be a complete surprise. Plus, it looks like a little baby pinata that I could beat the shit out. Of. So I mean for $60, that's fucking cool. I love things that I could beat the shit out of. <laughs> I love it. I'm happy. And again, I love that flamingo. The flamingo is adorable. Expect a weird review on my channel later this month whenever the hell it decides to show up. But uh, again, uh, I blame COVID. Anyway, I don't think I can call this anything except I'm excited for being able to beat the shit out of it. Next. Okay, I kind of love this. And no, I didn't buy it, okay? <laughs> I didn't buy it. 
yet. Benefit released their holiday collections and I really, really, really want one of the highlighter palettes. The Twinkle and Jingle Limited Edition Full Size Blush and Highlighter Palette. Or is it the Cherry Cheeks? I don't know, not the Cherry Cheeks. It's the Blush and Highlighter Palette. That looks so good. It's Dandelion Twinkle, Dandelion, and Honey Twinkle. Um, I think Dandelion is an okay shade, but I don't care. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. I like the packaging and I feel like those are colors that are gonna work for my uncooked chicken ass. They do have like a, a full face palette, but I, I do not like Hula. Hula is a shitty, 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 shitty bronzer. So that's not for me, but Shelly is a beautiful blush and Cookie is like the most iconic, iconic highlighter from Benefit, which I know Wacky Jackie, Jaclyn Hill, pretty much uh, put fucking Cookie on the map, which can you believe what's going on with her? What the fuck is that about? <laughs> If you haven't seen Jen Love's video, I'm gonna link it down below. Fucking, it's wild. <laughs> Me and Alex were playing Power Wash Simulator and we were listening to Jen give the timeline for everything and the Reddit posts and all that stuff. What the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck? She is garbage. <laughs> Actually, no, that's an insult to me because I'm garbage. She's just, ugh. That's it, she's like, ugh, that's what she is. <laughs> the whole thing is just so, ugh, I can't, just gross. Anyway, go go listen to it, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, hilarious and it's so weird. It feels like it should be like a three part Netflix, you know, like a fucking expose or think of it like the, um, the Lulu Row leggings. <laughs> Those weird eggy leggings, like that kind of style of documentary should be based off of the whole just Jaclyn Hill saga. It is wild, wild. Anyway, going back to Benefit, I... <laughs> Going back to benefit, the rest of the value sets, they're cute, I like them, they're good. And ooh, do they have Fan Fest? Their Fan Fest mascara is phenomenal, so highly recommend uh, looking into that one. I know you kind of get the bad gal bang with it, which that one's, uh, it's okay, but um, the Fan Fest is fucking amazing. I think these are really cute. That's the one thing is I can always rely on benefit kind of doing like really fun, weird, kind of um, vintage hokey kind of sets, and it always just fits the aesthetic so well and they're so pretty. They're super, super pretty. I like these. I don't love every one of them, you know, like the professional shit, like, ugh, no. But the ones that pretty much have like the blush or the highlighter or the um, mascara products or the eyebrow products, I would say, are worth checking out. And they're kind of really nice gifts for someone too, especially if, you know, they like makeup. It's actually like a proper, like nice stocking stuffer, I feel like. Um, apparently some of the stuff is out and about. I would totally pick up that highlighter palette though, for sure. Yeah, I like this. I'm not mad at it. Uh, I don't think I can call us anything except I want it and uh, yeah I just want it. Next. Too Faced. <laughs> so Too Faced came out with their holiday collection and I'm assuming that this is part one of a many part collection because that's usually how they roll. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like these. Um, I don't like these. So you have the Mimi, the Mimi, the Mimi, the Mini Popcorn Balls eyeshadow palette. What is that? What is, uh, what is that? That is a spring eyeshadow palette. What is that? What is that doing here? Okay. Then you have the Let It Snow Globes makeup collection, a collection that nobody wants. <laughs> Pop the cork makeup set. No, baby. A mini plump and go. Ew, ultimate travel plumping gloss set. A merry, merry makeup face and eye palette gift set. And sexy lips and lashes kit. These are all bundles that nobody fucking wants. These are probably the worst of the worst when it comes to Too Faced holiday. Too Faced has two tiers when it comes to their holiday stuff. You have the really good shit, and then you have the what the fuck is this? And this is the what the fuck is this? This is the stuff that nobody wants, and you often are gonna find this like discounted heavily like towards the end of December into January at your TJ Maxx. It's always the same fucking products over and over again. The same lip injections, the same like face and eyeshadow. Like no, 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 no. There is nothing fun or whimsical about it. The packaging too is like, it's kind of lame. It's kind of lame. Like I see what they're going with, especially for like that big Mary Mary makeup palette, but ew. <laughs> I don't know, like it could have been really, really cute. So yeah, this is the shit tier. This is like the tier F, nobody cares for this. I'm looking for the S tier ones. That is usually the like pumpkin spice palettes or the gingerbread palette. That's kind of usually around that mark. And I know they made a change from their tins to the cardboard. And I mean, I know it's a, it's totally an environmental decision to go with the cardboard and I get it, I get it. But I still just love those fucking tins so much. I know, I know, I know. 
now. Um, but still, even with the cardboard though, the pricing should come down a little bit. I don't know, because I'm like, what am I, what am I paying for? It's not like you really made the formula that nice. <laughs> but did I buy that maple pancakes palette? I did. I blame COVID. <laughs> I did. Okay. I'm sorry. <sighs> anyway, I am the problem. Hi, it's me. Anyway, I hate this. I don't like any of it. Um, I don't feel like this screams holiday at all. It's just giving basic bitch for the past thousand years. It's literally the same collection every fucking year, except this year they went extra trash. <laughs> That's what I get from this. This is truly a bundle deal that nobody wants. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. Next. Oh, I love this. I love this a lot. So Laneige, 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 whatever, is coming out with a sleeping mask that is a caramel apple sleeping mask. Do you know how fucking delicious that sounds? <laughs> My mouth is watering just thinking about how delicious that is. I don't even care if my lips are hydrated. I just want to eat its contents. <laughs> I love this so much. This is something I would totally fucking get. I would happily get this. Happily. This just dropped. It has coconut oil. Ugh, coconut oil. Ugh. But shea butter and mamuru seed butter, which helps nourish and deliver lasting moisture while you sleep. Um, it just sounds so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds amazing and I kind of want it. <laughs> I like everything about it. I have tried some Laneige sleeping masks before and they have been fantastic. I have a few of them next to me. I actually got these in a set. They're so good. They're so, so good. I kind of want this caramel apple one, but I could also just get a caramel apple. You know what's actually really funny? I don't even like caramel apples. <laughs> I like the idea of caramel apples. Like, I think they're really cute, but then I'm just like, mm, not for me. They're usually like really, really big. I don't even know how to fucking eat them. And when I actually do figure it out, it's always just okay. I like the idea of it more than the actual fucking product. So maybe that's kind of how I feel about the sleeping mask. It's like, no, I like it, but do I really like it? Do I? I don't know. Anyway, I'll let you know if I do pick this up. And if I do have the same experience I do when eating caramel apples. I just love the idea of them. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna keep drinking and I'm gonna call that even more skincare because it's skincare for your lips and um, we love a soft moment, regardless if we're gonna eat it or not. <laughs> Next. Of course I picked this up too. I'm just waiting for this to arrive. This is from Gucci. You have the concen Concentrate? <laughs> uh, Concentry de Beauté Concealer. Ooh, that sounded so delicious when I read that. It retails for $47, comes in 40 shades. It's a lightweight full coverage concealer that effortlessly blends for an even second skin finish, offers a natural blurred finish, black rose oil, offers antioxidant and soothing properties, while hyaluronic acid helps to make the skin hydrated for an all day comfortable wear. Asimella Flower, I think that's how you pronounce it, helps to smooth the skin and the under eye area. 40 shades, 47 bucks. The shade range is a little weird. It's a little funky. <laughs> it was it was very interesting trying to pick out a shade. I don't even remember the fucking shade that I did pick out. Hopefully it works. There's a lot of like um, undertones that are like kind of pink, kind of peach, kind of yellow. Some kind of look purple <laughs> or like gray. It's very, very unique. And that's really only talking about for like the fairest shades. When you start kind of going towards the deepest shades, there could have been a better representation in my opinion for the deeper shades. It looks like there's only a few and the undertones are just so different from the next one. Not to say that we need to have things that almost near identical, but something maybe a little bit closer, right? That's what makes sense to me. Um, but yeah, it's a very interesting shade range. But the concealer though, if it does what it says it's gonna do and all these little beautiful models. Yeah, this is all airbrushed. <laughs> I got had. <laughs> just looking now, just kind of like zooming in. You can just tell that the blur tool is their friend. <laughs> They blurred the shit out of these fucking concealers. Oh my God, fuck me. <laughs> you know, I deserve this one. I deserve this one. I'll let you know when I get it. I had a very interesting experience with that foundation. Previous stuff from Gucci, I hate it. And then I tried the newer formulated foundation or whatever. <laughs> The first time I used it, I had the wrong shade that should turn me into a fucking pumpkin, all right? The next time I used it, 
loved it. I had uh, the shade that was more appropriate for me and it actually is a very, very beautiful formula. But, you know, not my favorite formula at the end of the day. It's still very, very good. I enjoy it, but I don't know if I would go repurchase it considering there are so many other foundations that I really, really like that are much cheaper and just a better time overall. But I don't hate it. So, uh... <laughs> I'm just a glutton for punishment, y'all. And I, I was just really curious to see how this was gonna be. And um, here's hoping that <laughs> it's gonna be a fun fucking ride. But we'll see. I'll let you know when I do get it. I actually want to do a video within the next couple of weeks or like maybe a week or so because there have been so many new concealers from like Makeup by Mario. You have House Labs, Tower 28, you have Gucci. And I think there's another one that I am missing that I can't remember the name of. But I wanted to kind of talk about each one of them and do like a fun size kind of roundup of like all the latest concealers. So, you know, when there is a Sephora sale that is literally just right around the river's bend because we are now approaching holiday season, I'd rather give you really good advice on whether something is worth checking out and discount or not. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued to try this. Shade range is kind of fucking weird, but it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. So, uh, with that said, I don't think I can call this anything except to be continued. Next. Y'all want to get mad at me? <laughs> I bought this. Don't ask why. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable talking about it. <laughs> Some things I need to keep for myself. Okay, listen, I don't know what happened, but I saw this and I thought, you know what? Who needs another basic bitch palette? This bitch right here. So this is the Kosas Undress Palette. It's a neutral eyeshadow palette. It's talc free, it's seven matte shades, one shimmer, and a neutral shades for a no makeup makeup look to full glam infused with cucumber fruit extract to soften and soothe vegan cruelty free and comes in a recyclable packaging for $40. The $40 is a lot. That was a lot. Uh <laughs> This is more of like a $30 palette, if I'm gonna be honest. But you know, I got it for 40 bucks and um, why did I buy this again? <laughs> oh, you silly bitch. All right, listen. I, 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 hi, my name is Teresa and I love a basic bitch moment. I really do. I got the new, you know, Patrick Ta palette. I'm waiting for the Danessa Myricks one to show up. Again, I'm gonna do <laughs> a fun size video too at the end of this month to kind of show all the basic bitch palettes that were released because there were a lot of them and uh, I will let you know who reigns the supreme in the most sleepiest fucking color stories ever imaginable but I just had to buy it. <laughs> I feel like such a fucking asshole for this. It's hideous but I love it. Yeah I'm like reading the comments and like people oh my god a lot of people are just shitting on this palette and I just throw your tomatoes at me. Just go for it. I deserve every bit of this. And you know who I blame actually? I blame Natasha Denona because can I tell you, I tried to buy that palette again. <laughs> this time I saw that it was actually available in Disney Springs and I got excited, but I had COVID and I was like, oh, it's, it's totally fine. I'll just buy it online and I'll let it sit there for five days. <laughs> It will be fine. That didn't work out. I didn't want to be one of those assholes that goes out and then just starts infecting people. So um, I let it lapse my order. <laughs> of course, that palette was sold to some other bitch, which fuck me, but okay. So then I had to order it again through Ulta. And I'm hoping that when it does arrive, it won't be in a stupid cheap mailer. I know it will be. And hopefully it won't be shattered into a thousand pieces. So... Fingers crossed that we're good. If that Natasha Denona palette comes smashed, I don't think I will ever buy it again because that would be like the fucking third time. And it's just like, I just can't. I just can't. I cannot, okay? All right, fine. Um, That said, I blame Natasha Denona because if I would have just gotten that palette initially, um, it would have satisfied my basic bitch requirement. But no, here I am buying a stupid $40 palette for just a little bit of cucumber and a shitload of cardboard, okay? I literally... <laughs> am the fucking worst. So we're gonna call this an Ann palette, even though this is even beneath Ann. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Ann, next. I love this so much and it's, oh, it's gonna be only in Austria, fuck, okay. So McDonald's <laughs> is, McDonald's and My Manicure, which I've never heard before, but apparently a nail polish company, is coming out with dipping sauce nail polishes. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Are you fucking kidding me? I don't even understand. It looks like they're licking the polish, which just feels really wrong. <laughs> it makes me 
wanted even more. What the fuck? Okay, so you have barbecue, sour sweet favorite, sub bower, okay interesting you have hot with smoky ice barbecue you have tomato ketchup and then you have my favorite condiment of all time sour cream okay sour cream it's actually disgusting i could probably eat a whole container of that is that a brag it is <laughs> i don't give a fuck okay i my body's a top of sour cream I love sour cream. Of course, I would be sour cream, okay? I need this. I just need it just for the sour cream one. But I'm kind of confused because I see some, like, imagery of, like, fingers and licking. And it's like, I'm hoping that the nail polish doesn't taste like anything because then that would be fucking weird. But also intriguing. But very fucking weird. And I feel, like, kind of dangerous. But I kind of need to get these. Oh, my God. I want this so badly. I need this. <laughs> If any of my lovely subscribers live in Austria, any of you, please send me an email, teresa.is.dead at gmail, please. I would love to arrange some sort of payment where I would pay you to purchase these things and you could ship it to me. I'll pay for shipping too. I'm not a monster, but I need this, okay? I'm not going to Austria anytime soon. So this is the only one way I could get it is if I ask. So my good people that live in Austria or can get to Austria <laughs> and you happen to fucking see this, let's set up a dialogue. Let's chat about this. I want these so badly. I don't care. I will do whatever it takes to get these. So please let me know. <laughs> Send me an email because that would be fucking everything. Um, This is so good. I love it. I love it. It's so weird. Of course I want them all, but if I can only get sour cream, so be it. <laughs> And also, I love that that's a fucking condiment over there because over here, like, people just, like, treat sour cream like the fucking plague. Ugh, I can't with you people. <laughs> you all don't know what's good for you. Yeah, this is great. I love it. <laughs> Mm -mm. All right, that said, I think what I can call this uh, a clap with someone not know for their makeup because I don't think of McDonald's, I don't think of makeup or nail polish or potentially edible nail polish, so, but I love it. <laughs> and I can't wait to fucking put it on my hands, hopefully. Anyway, next. And there you have it, another makeup bingo in the books. And I am literally so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Really, my Austrian babies, please, for the love of everything, let me know. I need this. <laughs> I need this more than anything, please. Anyway, now I would love, 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 love to hear from y'all. Let me know down below. If you like any of this stuff, if you hate it, if you have strong opinions, let me know because I love hearing from you. And of course, I definitely want to say go check out Imperfectly M and tell her I said hi. And again, thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. With that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram, threads, blue sky and of course my beautiful wonderful patrons and youtube members thank you so much for keeping this delicious disgusting filthy trashy really trashy really filthy really gross really nasty garbage boat afloat i couldn't do without you i love your adorable little delicious faces and i just want to gobble you all up so you can live inside my belly and we can be one if you want to know what is currently on my face everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below and i'll see you little crab cakes later bye